Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And today, guys, we have a haul. We have a haul. We have a, we have a, we have a haul. <laughs> All right, y'all, I had to do that for the last time of 2020, okay? Because this is my very last haul that I will be showing you guys. Yes, it's pretty big. It's very <clears throat> kind of massive for me. Um, Y'all know I do big hauls. I like to break them up. I'm going to definitely have to break this up unless I see I can move pretty quickly through it okay and if this is your first time here again my name is terry of course i focus on fragrances and a few other things i double and dabble into now but definitely a fragrance chick i have been wanting a lot of these fragrances so i do have a majority of the ones i did want and um i'm going to show them really quickly i didn't want to i don't want to make this long okay i'm just going to show you be in and out and let you see what i got if you're interested and if that's something you want to watch keep on watching all right, guys, so here we are. Before we start, I'm going to show you two fragrances that I kind of have a gripe with right now with the company. And I just don't like how they did me, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to start it off with one that I actually show. I actually showed this in my last haul, to be honest. And I had it wrapped up in my little, you know, wrapping that came from the company. And I just didn't want to open it. So I was going to wait till Christmas. And one of my subbies says, you know what? Open your Christmas gifts. Go on and open them. If you, you want to, you know, open them. Don't waste a Christmas, you know. Life is not promised. And she was so right. So, I just went on and opened them. <laughs> I think, like, last weekend or weekend before, whatever. And the fragrance that I'm going to show you is one that I have a major problem with. When I put it to the screen, y'all going to be like, what the hell? Okay. these. This was actually ordered from the Killian Company from their website. And this is the fragrance that I got. Now, y'all guess with me what fragrance it is because I can't tell y'all what it is. If I didn't know the smell, I wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> Look how my fragrance came, y'all, from Killian, all right? So, honestly, I would have known what it was because they, it is here, y'all. Like, my whole fragrance is missing the nameplate, y'all. It was in the box, just like this, when I opened it. I was so irritated. I didn't know what to do because y'all know I have been wanting Love Don't Be Shy. I've been wearing Love Don't Be Shy for, like, two years now. Maybe, maybe two years. And... The scent is gorgeous. I've just been wearing it in the travel sprays. I always buy like the travel kits or whatever. So I have been wanting the bottle. I finally got the bottle and this is how it came. Okay. And I have reached out to Killian. I emailed them. They didn't respond. I went on Instagram and I messaged them. I DM'd them. They it showed seen and they never responded. That pisses me off. It shows seen and I see that you didn't saw what I sent you and you didn't respond back to me. It does something to me. I don't know what it is, but that really irritated me. So I called them and they left me on hold for like 30, 45 minutes. So while I'm on the phone waiting, I'm st I'm instant messaging or chatting or whatever. And y'all, if y'all could feel the attitude that was in these messages, like I'm literally sending, I've sent pictures. I've told you the problem. I spent my money, replace my product, please. And y'all know, they told me that they was going to replace it. And I have yet to receive my stuff. So I had I didn't even get the confirmation email, nothing. So I'm going to try this process again in a little bit and see what happens. But if not, y'all, I promise you, you don't want smoke with Terry. You don't want smoke with me. I'm ignorant. Anywho, so this is the first one that I got. Love the fragrance. I hate the experience that I had because Killian kind of been slipping. They had I had another problem with them recently. But I kind of let that one like slide. I shouldn't have let it slide, but I let it slide and then they pulled this again. So I'm getting pissed with Killian for the moment. I love the fragrances though, but honey, it's gonna be some smoke. <laughs> anyway, so next fragrance I bought from them. I'm just gonna show you really quickly because like I said, some people had wanted to see it and I just didn't show it in my last haul. But this is it. This is the set I was telling you guys I had bought. This is Killian Rolling and Killian's Rolling in Love. Um, yeah. This is what it looks like. Very beautiful, sweet omni. Oh, I've been wearing this for a minute. Two of I've been wearing this wearing this. I can't talk today. I've been wearing this for like a year and I had it in the travel spray and I still have a little bit of the travel spray left, but this is a very beautiful fragrance as well. And I actually ordered it in the kit because I wanted to experience the lipstick and I actually got this one here, um, the Intoxicating Rouge. It's a scented lip color, but this is what it looks like. It smells good. <laughs> 
but it's a pretty matte red. Anywho, that's from Killian. And I also want to show you guys these two. When I ordered, um, they sent me Love again, and this is the girl on that. So I have these in trap sprays. I have tons of these. Tons. For the day, y'all. I have tons of these. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that I bought, um, this was actually a gift. I'm not gonna say I bought. My daughter got me this. I had been wanting to try candy. Um, this is the gloss candy, product candy gloss, and it's like a sweet cherry fragrance, really tart cherry. I'm not gonna say sweet. It's tart, almost boozy. It's like a boozy tart sharp type cherry scent but it's really pretty in the dry down it's a lot prettier than the opening the opening is really bright and fresh and tart but it dries down to a a sweeter version of a cherry if that makes sense all right next we have let me show you the other fragrance that i told you i have a gripe with okay i don't i did not grab the okay this is it anyway joe malone marantanka i love this scent i think it's beautiful um my friend girl Kedra here sent me a sample. I absolutely loved it. I knew I wanted it. I actually ordered this from Burdock Goodman. And guys, this is how it came in bubble wrap with a piece of tape holding it together in bubble wrap and half the fragrance hanging out the bubble wrap from Burdock Goodman. Y'all, I was like, this is just not acceptable. <laughs> this is totally unacceptable, guys. So I um, called them and I talked to someone about it. I'm like, this is Burdock and Goodman. This is not Fragrance Net Testers. This is not Fragrance X. This, this is not a discount kind of website with testers. This is a damn luxury company. Why, what the hell is going on? He was like, well, do you want me to send you a box? Hell no. I don't want a box. You should have sent me a box when I ordered it the first time. How you going to send me my shit like this wrapped up in bubble tape? I'm like... Give me my, send me another damn fragrance. And so they were supposed to be sending me like uh, something to refund or whatever. But girl, I ain't got it. That was a week ago. And I'm tired of calling these folks. They had you on hold forever. And I'm like, bro, I'm good, man. Really, really, really. That's what we're doing. We're sending our, like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it. I promise you, I'm over it. Anyway, Murr and Sanka. All right, guys. So I also from Burdock and Goodman, I got let me see three more fragrances from them. That was the only one that came trashy like that, and it actually came later than the rest of them because the other three came together, and then that one came later. And I'm like, hell, y'all couldn't find a box. Y'all couldn't. Y'all done sent me somebody return without a box. I don't know what they did, but anyway, let me show you the other three I got. So. Y'all have seen a lot of this stuff probably on Instagram because I just been, disc, you know, displaying some fragrances I had. So I actually got this one here, and this is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I have been wanting this for a minute, like for a, when it first came out, I was curious about it. And I have recently watched a couple of reviews. Well, I don't say a couple. Of, I've been watching more and more reviews because I wanted to get it, but I always heard that the longevity was horrible. I know A.I. the Great talked about it a lot. She told me that I need to get it. And I watched Eve, um, Eva Monroe, and I loved her review when she first did it, and I was like, that's what kind of just went on and pushed me over the edge, and I think I was talking to one of my subbies, and she was like, the longevity is okay, you just have to really layer it thick, but I promise you guys, the smell, this was my first time ever smelling it when it came, I've smelled impressions, but this one here is so dreamy, guys, it's so when I say gourmand, it's just like a cherry liqueur, just omni. It's very beautiful, guys. So this one, again, is Lost Cherry, and I got this from Burdoff Goodman. Alrighty, another one that I got from Burdoff Goodman is Diptyque, and this is the Oudoil, as y'all can see. And this is the EDP, the Eau de Parfum. I have been wanting this one. I have a decan of it. And I have been wanting it. But I am going to gift this to someone so very special to me in my life. So I'm going to, this is going to be a gift. That's why it's not out the box. But this is going to be a gift for someone. And the last thing that I got from Burdock and Goodman is 
something I have been wanting for a long time, y'all. I have been wanting to try it out, and I finally got it, and it is the Roja Parfums, and this is the Elixir, but this is the Essence version. So, you pull it out like this, and this is what it looks like. And I've shown this before. If you watched my last uh, weekly fr um, fragrance rotation, you would have seen this when I actually wore this. This is just a peachy, powdery, floral scent to me. It's very pretty. Um, I've really been enjoying it. So, again, this is the other one that I've got from Bird Dolphin Gummy and the last one that I got because they don't piss me off. Alrighty, so. Some more scents. Ooh, let me put some of this stuff up. I got a lot of stuff, y'all. Okay, so I told y'all in my last haul video that I had got um, the Mungerlun Florel, not Florel, the EDT, which I absolutely love. And I said I want to explore some more Mungerlun fragrances other than the EDP. But, of course, I, like I said, I got the EDT. You guys already seen the EDT. I got it in three points. Three, four ounce. 100 milliliter i got this one this is the edt and so i wanted to explore some other ones so these are just the ones i have been seeing and i just was scared to i was like they all gonna smell the same and they really kind of do to me so the edt don't smell like anything to me like the rest of them but this is the one it's called the sensual right here they said this one smells the most like the um What's it called? I have a picture somewhere inserted in the name. But it it smells like, oh, the Mun Exclusive. Okay, it smells really good. It's a little bit warmer. Hmm. It's pretty. It's real. This is creamy. It's really creamy. But again, this is the essential well, Mongrelon essential well. Then I got I got the floral. Let me see. I'm trying to go through this quickly. I got the floral, but I got this one in the travel spray, and this is the floral. If you can see it, I don't know if you can. I love this one too. This one is really sweet. For it to be the floral, it's sweeter than all of them too. And the last one that I got, and I have a couple of couple on the way. I won't be showing those in a haul because this is actually my last haul for the year, like I said. Um, but I got the one that I was the most curious about, and of course, is the EDP. <laughs> the Intense. I said the EDP. This is the Intense. And I'm not getting into reviews or nothing. It smells good. It's so much it's thicker. It kind of, it seems like it has a lot more vanilla. But it's a thicker vanilla. It's not as fresh. And it doesn't seem to have more lavender. I can't explain it. But I think if I had to judge them, and I'm not going to really judge them at this point. But right now, I'm really loving the Floreal and the Original. And I love the EDT. I love all of them. This one is thicker though, so I'm going to be wearing it. I haven't worn it. I haven't worn it at all, so I'll be wearing it. I've had it a minute, but I haven't worn it. Oh, and I'm going to show right. you guys this, and I'm going to, I've got one more, and I'm going to be done with this one, okay, because I don't want it to get too long, because I'm all over the place. But these, this was sent to me from Burdock Goodman as well. Um, They sent me with purchase, if I can get to this. They sent me Penny and Blush Suede. They sent me the actual body cream. Just the little minis. They sent me Wild Bluebell. And they sent me English English Pear and Freesia. Um, this is the body and hand wash. So that was nice. Um, I'm probably gonna, I don't know. I don't use, when I get minis, I. I use these sometimes, but I never use like the body creams in these. I don't know. It'll just go in my Joe Malone collection or whatever. And the last fragrance that I'm going to show you, I believe, from this haul, is one that I'm absolutely loving. Again, this is Casablanca. This is from Swiss Arabian. Y'all, this is so damn pretty to me. I'm like loving everything I got. Every fragrance that I got, I love. I must say, 
I just don't like how my came, okay? But I do love it. But this is Casablanca from Swiss Arabian. And I know you guys probably seen this in another video, but this is gorgeous as well. This is so sweet and gourmandish. It's almost like at caramel and apple pie. It's beautiful, y'all. I promise. This is beautiful. And I've been enjoying now. This I've been wearing. <laughs> I really have been wearing this one. And I've really been in it. As y'all can see. Y'all see, I'm I've been wearing this one. So anyway, that's off this haul. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna keep recording, but I'm gonna do it in other videos. So I think I might break it up in two more videos. I'm sorry that I was all over the place, y'all, but I had to, you know get these gripes out because i was irritated so i hope you guys enjoy it like i said um and get ready for part two because there's some haulage situations going on around here y'all <laughs> all right y'all thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all on the next one be safe Mwah.